Hi Virgo, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading. Alright, so also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see, Virgo, what is going on for the first half of March 2001? All right, we have mute and we have fear. Okay, so definitely feels like there is some distancing possibly between the two of you, maybe a lack of communication, uh, maybe somebody ghosted you, uh, maybe you ghosted them. But what I'm getting here, most of all, is that this is related to fear. All right, so let's, let's see what this is about. It doesn't necessarily have to be that there's no contact. It could just be that somebody is not fully expressing how they feel because of fear. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for you, we have the Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the King of Swords. Huh. Alright, so there's... You're either deceiving yourself when it comes to a love connection that you want, possibly. Or you're trying to put your self-interest first, even though there is um, a connection here that you would that you would really want. And it feels like you're just becoming more and more determined to do what is best for you. So I feel like for most of you, that's going to be... Um, the situation, although for some of you it could be that there is, you know, a love connection that you really want and you're just kind of like trying to convince yourself that you don't want it because of um, some kind of fear. Alright, so take it as it resonates. Let's see for them, we have the Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Alright. So this person here that is in some way connected to you or that you're dealing with, yeah, I'm seeing the fear more on their side. All right, here with the, with the Eight of Swords, I feel like they're keeping themselves possibly trapped in their own thoughts, in their own um, thinking, in their own fears. Possibly a fear of a commitment or of some commitment or of a role that they're playing as, um, as a person in a commitment. <laughs> Okay, so it could be that they are involved in another commitment for some of you, all right? That's always a possibility, actually, in, like, all of my readings, all right? Even if it doesn't come through, it's always a possibility. Um, this could even be somebody who has children, all right? That just came through as well. Um, and I feel like they're trapped in a situation, actually, that they do feel committed to that is really weighing heavy on them. I feel like they, they're they either feeling like they have a huge amount of responsibility or a huge amount of pressure in that, um, in that commitment, whatever it is, but it's kind of like they're keeping themselves stuck in that kind of a mentality when actually they're not that trapped. All right, and then for others, it could just be that they have this fear of commitment, possibly with you. And this is something that is, because, they just feel like it, it's, it's a lot of pressure on them. But again, even in this case, again, we have that Eight of Swords, which is telling me that they're not really seeing things clearly. Let's see what is um, coming up in the potential future here. We have the Seven of Swords, the Magician, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so... I feel like there's still a little bit of an avoiding, of somebody avoiding their feelings, which is exactly what I'm saying here, the fear and the mute. Um, but I do also see this manifesting towards taking some steps here. 
something is definitely being manifested. Somebody is definitely going to take some kind of action to start planting those seeds for something to happen. So let's clarify and see. of pentacles and the four of swords all right yeah see so you're you're trying to have like a new beginning for your own self for some of you it could even be work related um, or just something new in the practical world like in, in your material world like maybe some kind of a change just something new when it comes to your material world for some of you all right and for others of you it's just really trying to find some stability within your own life and it could even be on an emotional level it doesn't matter all right just some stability um that whatever that is i feel like it's not easy for you because it's like you're having to fight to in order to get yourself to put yourself first and this is I'm also saying that because of this Four of Swords, it's like you need to heal from something, all right? It's like needing to heal from this, from this connection or from this love that you feel and really, you know, trying to accept this um, new, new desire that you have to put yourself first. It's almost like, yeah, that is a desire of yours, but it, just because it's a desire of yours doesn't mean that it's easy to go that way. Because going that way would also require for you to kind of take a step back and recover and heal yourself from something that, you know, was so, so intense or so loving or that you wanted. Let me see the Two of Cups. The High Priestess. Yeah, you, it's like you feel that this connection is something very, very strong. You feel like it's a spiritual connection. Um, again, I feel like you're holding back. You're holding back your emotions as well. I feel like you're both holding back your emotions from each other. Um, so for a lot of you, yeah, it could be that there is no contact. And I feel like you are refraining from expressing yourself to this person, again, because you want to put yourself first. You might be afraid that this might take you back. Um, a step or that it might be the wrong thing to do possibly but with that king of swords there I feel like you you are determined you are determined to really put yourself first it's just a matter of sticking to it I guess let's see king of swords yeah five of uh, five of wands it's not easy that's why I said sticking to it it's conflicting you it's conflicting you like you like it's 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 like this um mixture of two different things like you want to put yourself first you want to do what's best for you which means healing from this love and being determined but at the same time like actually putting that into action and like actually doing that um might be a little bit of a struggle for you and it could be that you for some of you, maybe you have to be up, up against other people. Like there might be other factors in your life that make this harder for you to do. But ultimately, I see you, I see you fighting to do that for your own self and to have this new new way of being for your own self, which is good. So let's see for them. Let's see the Eight of Swords. interesting the ace of wands the eight of pentacles and the ten of cups all right what is going on here with this person for some of them it could even be that they, that this um entrapment is related to their work 
which is keeping them from um, having this fulfillment in love, all right? For some of them, it could be that. As I said, though, for others, it could be another um, relationship here that maybe they are stuck trying to work on that and trying to bring that back to life. I don't feel like that's working out for them, all right? If this is somebody who's involved in another relationship and they're trying to make that work, it's not it's not working out why because well because we have the eight of of swords here it's coming from a place of fear it's not coming from a place of love and then we also have the ten of wands showing that it's it's a burden actually and if you need to put in that much work to make something work you know if it's like a chore well then you know ultimately it's not what fulfills you because if something does fulfill you i'm not saying it's going to be perfect you might still have to work at it, but you will work for that from a place of being actually feeling motivated, not feeling weighed down. Like you would want to make this work and you would do it with some kind of a drive and a, and a motivation. I'm seeing this more work related in the way that this person is trying to make this situation work out, whatever it is, whether it is work, whether it is I don't know, a financial situation, whether it is a living arrangement, whether it is another commitment, whatever, whatever it is. Um, I do see them trying to make it work though, and I feel like it's just not working out. It's just not working out. So we'll so like I said though, in the future I feel like that is that is shifting. But let me see this king of pentacles. five of swords for them as well but for them it's in a different context here because it's coming after the eight of the eight of swords um, again it's like they're losing the battle they're losing the battle when it comes to fighting for stability or fighting to keep a position that they that they are already in because that position is again based out of fear and so again, it's like it's not working for them. Or if they are winning at it, it's like they're winning because they're there, right? But they're not winning because they're not happy. Like they have to compromise other things. Which ultimately is just something that's, that's a burden on them. Let me see the Ten of Wands. Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, yeah. See, so so they're 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 trying to make this work. It's not working, and at the same time, it's like they're realizing that here. All right, because they want to win with the Six of Wands. They want to have victory over this burden. They want to release it off of their shoulders. They have their intuition pushing them forward as well as their feelings. Like, how do they truly feel about this situation? And so because of that, they're trying to release that. And that's why we also have the Knight of Pentacles here because it's like they're moving forward, but very slowly, right? Um, but they're moving towards that victory of being able to release this burden, whatever it is. And it just happens to be that one of the steps to doing that is actually um, trying to make their situation work. And then, you know, that not working out. That is part of it. That is the way that they feel that they are doing this in the right in the right way. Um, it's like, yeah, they just want to like exhaust every single possibility here. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords again. It's almost like I almost feel like 
like they, they sometimes doubt the steps that they're taking, all right? So they could, it's, I feel like this person is struggling a lot when it comes to actually believing in themselves and trusting themselves. But it's interesting because I feel like they're still moving forward, but they're just moving forward very, very cautiously. Like, you cannot get more cautious than this. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and then the Seven of Swords twice. That's a lot of being cautious and just really counting every single little step that they're doing. Let me see this magician because I see them actually... Um, Making things happen, though, regardless of that. Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups and the Tower. Yeah. So there is something that's going to have to be huge. There's going to be, like, a huge blow-up of events. A huge blow-up of events, which I feel is going to actually cause them to pick up the pace a little bit here. Like moving from the Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. Like um, rather than just thinking about the practicalities and what about this and what about that and just being overly cautious. It's like a movement more towards acting and manifesting based off of emotions. And for them that's going to be a huge, huge thing. And it might um, involve really having to um, destroy some old beliefs or some old systems or this whatever it is that they're dealing with here, that they're keeping themselves trapped in, it's like things are going to blow up. It's like they're manifesting that. I don't even know if they're doing that consciously, to be honest with you, because they're moving so cautiously that it almost feels like they, they're moving cautiously in order to avoid a tower, but whether they want it or not, it's like they're manifesting that tower regardless. And I feel like that is going to be the beginning of the movement forward as the Knight of Cups while they're planting those seeds. So let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, wow, the Eight of Wands. That's a lot of movement. See, it's like picking up the pace. Picking up the pace. Um, I don't feel like this picking up the pace is gonna happen overnight to be honest with you, because we do have the Seven of Pentacles, which is a slower energy. But again, it's like this message coming through again, just like I said before, moving from the Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups, which is just a little bit faster, a little more, um, yeah, and heart-based as well. And then here we have moving from the Seven of Pentacles to planting the seeds to actual, like, action and faster movement, um, driven movement, with more passion behind it, rather than just practicality. So that is what I feel is coming up in this connection, actually. And this is definitely, this energy is definitely your person's energy. All right, so, yeah, Virgo. Oops. I guess I forgot to put my phone on silent. Sorry about that, guys. All right, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, let's get your final message. Where do I go? All right, we have choosing your path. All is possible. Yeah, this is definitely your person here. All right, everything is possible. You are putting yourself first and I feel I really do feel like that is the best thing for you to do, you know, being determined in that way to heal from this connection in whatever way you're doing that, all right? And allow your person to choose their own path. All right, keeping in mind that everything is possible. Nothing is impossible here. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Much love.